Hello my lovely Aquarius, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is your reading for the month of May, so please take the energy that resonates and if it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Okay, let's get straight into the cards for you. I'll pull an oracle card first. So the card that you have Aquarius is align your life. So where do you need to align your life? Where are you feeling out of balance? Are you feeling out of balance when it comes to your relationships? Are you feeling out of balance when it comes to your career? Or are you just feeling out of balance with who you are? Maybe you're feeling like, I don't, I'm not where I want to be, or I'm not doing something that is more meaningful for me. I feel that you, you may feel that you're missing something. There's something else that you should be doing. There's something missing from your life and you can't quite figure out what that is. The energy I have here is that you are no longer who you were six months ago, one year ago, 10 years ago. You're not that person anymore. And I feel that you're starting to understand that you see things differently. You see the world differently. Um, as I'm getting older, I, I don't go out drinking and I don't drink. I don't go out drinking anymore. I don't want to go out past <clears throat> nine o'clock. I don't, I don't want to go pa out past eight o'clock sometimes, but you're starting to see life differently and you're feeling a little bit out of balance. You're not quite where you were, but you're not quite where you want to be. You're kind of stuck in that middle part. And this card is saying that you need to sit with yourself and you need to align your life. You need to find what it is you want to do where is it that you want to be in five ten years six months time even if you don't know where you want to be you'll stay in this sticky side so figure out where you want to want to be in whatever time frame is best for you your life your decision and that will help you start aligning your life to be able to reach that position so I feel that's the energy that's been guided for you here, Aquarius. But let's get into tarot and let's see what is uh, coming towards you in the month of May. So again, this is an energy re reading, so just take the energy that resonates for you. Okay, so the first card that we have for you, um, Aquarius, is the Three of Swords. We also have the High Priestess. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles as well. Okay, so the first card is uh, what energies are flowing towards you this month. And you've got the Three of Swords, which isn't always the most positive card. Three of Swords is showing that there could be some heartbreak. There could be some loss. Um, I feel that you've got a lot of pain already because you're feeling very confused. You're feeling very, I feel that a lot of you may feel that you don't, you can't find where you fit. You fit exactly where you are. You need to become really whole with you and feel really comfortable with yourself. And know that where you are right now is enough right now. And you are very happy to just be where you are and knowing and trusting that everything else is going to come, um, is going to be laid out in front of you when it's necessary. You could be going through a breakup. You could be feeling that a breakup's on its way. You could be losing a job or there could be somebody in your life that hasn't got much longer in this world and be moving on to another part of their own journey which is really sad on its own. And if that is you, I send in a lot of love out for you. But it's showing that in the month of May could be a hard time for some of you. Um, I don't like giving those messages, but that's the message that's coming through. So the next card you have to, you have is the High Priestess. And this is where should I focus my attention? In the month of May, you need to listen to yourself. You need to trust and follow your intuition. Um, if something doesn't feel right, then remove yourself from the situation as quickly as you can and safely and as safely as you can. Um, if you need to take a self-care day, then take it. 
If you want to sit there eating Ben and Jenna's ice cream and crying into that ice cream, then do it. Um, this is about you trusting, listening and following the intuition, uh, knowing that you do have all the answers, but maybe your mind is too preoccupied and too loud for you to hear them. This is asking you to be quiet, to find that space within you, to find a space for yourself so that you can really just listen to who you are and what it is that you need to do to be able to move forward in life. So that's what you need to focus on this month, especially if you're going to go through some kind of pain this month. So the next card we have is what challenges may you face in the month of May? And you've got the four of pentacles. Now, for some reason, I don't like this card. I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like it. But the four of pentacles is showing that the challenges you may face is to let go of something. The challenges you may face is to let other people in, especially if you're going through a grieving process now and, and going into the month of May, you may feel very difficult to allow people to come in and comfort you, to console you. Uh, maybe you're the person that has to hold it all together because you know you're the everyone else is falling apart, so you have to hold it all together. Um, you feel that you you can't show weakness or anything like that. And I feel that um, what you're going to really struggle with this month is to allow people in to help you. Uh, you're going to really struggle with, with asking for help as well and to let something go. I feel for some of you, it's time to let something go. You've gone through that heartbreaking stage and now it's time for you to let go and time for you to move forward with something. But you're really struggling with with how to do that and, and what you need to do to do that. So I feel that's a, it's going to be a big challenge for you this month, Aquarius. So, you know, allow people in to help you, but you can allow people in as much as you want to. You don't have to, like, let them fully into you. You've still got those boundaries. You can allow someone in, someone to talk to, someone to ask if you're okay. You can allow them in, but it's up to you to how much you want to give. But I feel that you're very much a, I'm, I'm strong, I'm this warrior, I don't let things get to me. Sometimes it's okay to let your guard down. Okay, the next card we have is the Ten of Pentacles. And this, is there something that you need to be working on letting go? I feel with the Ten of Pentacles, it's all about having that family life. It's about having that success, that abundance. Maybe what you're grieving is a breakup. Sometimes when we grieve breakup, sometimes if there's um, a sudden loss in our life of some reason, we're not just grieving that particular situation, but we're also grieving the hopes and the dreams and the plans that we had for our future with that particular person or with that particular opportunity. So it's not just about grieving the situation, it's about grieving the entire plans that we had. And I feel that you had a lot of plans and it was gonna to lead to a lot of success, a lot of abundance, a lot of love for you, and you may feel like it's been ripped away. And I feel that you need to work on letting that go and those plans that you had, I don't know what this claw is, so I apologize for that, um, those plans that you had um, wasn't meant for you. And maybe there's something even better. If those plans were really good and you were really excited for them, but there's something better, wow, what's that going to be? Because this was good. And if something better is coming, amazing. But that something better can't come into your life until you let go of what you thought was going to happen. Okay, let's get an animal spirit card for you then, Aquarius. And let's see what the animals have to say. Okay, let's do a quick shuffle of the cards for you. Okay, so the card that you have, the grey squirrel. And this is saying, find new ways of solving problems. When we come up against a problem, sometimes we can think that, oh, that's it. It's a problem. Got to throw in the towel now. There's always more than one way of figuring something out. So sit back, have a look at things from a different perspective 
and see how else you can solve it. Go down every single route you can think of, even the wackiest and craziest of ideas, because that crazy idea might be the one thing that will solve everything. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Aquarius. Thank you for spending that time with me. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonates, drop it in the comment box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. It really helps me reach more people. Um, and I really want to help as many people that need may need this message. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, a link in the description box below. Um, if you are on social media and would like to follow me on social media, again, there's a link in the description box of all my social media handles. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.